I'm, I'm going to start with the negative. Threw that ball a little bit behind him. Was just a bad throw? Yeah, I mean, uh, I threw it so early he wasn't even looking, and I could have probably held the ball a little longer. I was uh, just worried about getting out of my hands. I didn't have any pressure back there, so that's all on me. So, Bryce, uh, 8 of 12, uh, almost 100 yards. Are you getting more used? I mean, people, you know, when they talk about Bryce, they're like, why isn't Bryce playing more? We want to see more Bryce, yada, yada, yada. Um, today you got to play a fair amount. Are you getting more comfortable with college football at this stage? Uh, I, be I believe I am. I feel more comfortable when I go out there. I try to practice, uh, try to take everything serious and practice so that when I do get my opportunities in the games, I know what's going on and I'm not lost. So I've been uh, just practicing harder. And then when I do get in there, I just try to execute and move the ball downfield. So what's your week like as the backup or the, you know, number two guy? Do you, I mean, obviously you're taking snaps with the ones at times, uh, and you've been watching Hudson, who's been very productive lately. What do you learn from that, or what do you learn from Aaron? What do you have to do to get better for this coming season? Because, you know, you got to beat a couple guys out in the spring, but you're, you're the two now. Yeah, I, I just feel like, uh, from Hudson especially, just coming to practice every day locked in and focused and just – taking it like very seriously throughout the week. I feel like uh, I could definitely work on that uh, in my preparation and whatnot. And uh, I've been trying to do that these last couple of weeks. I feel like I've been doing that very well. But I, I feel like that's the main thing learning from Hudson was just seeing him every week prepare and be so focused during the week. What's it like being the uh, the target of a Mike Bobo rant in the uh – on the field or, you know, in, in the locker room, wherever, on in the front film room. What do, you, what do you mean? Well, Mike can be a little bit energetic at times with his quarterbacks. Uh, the, the loud, nah, 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 voice. Uh, have you heard that this year so far? Uh, I mean, he, he he definitely rides me. He likes to, he definitely likes to get on to me uh, quite a bit. But I feel like I need that to, to, like, try to, like, lock in. I feel like I need that kind of stuff to get me going. And, um... So yeah, I, I've definitely seen that side of him, but at the same time, he's an awesome coach, and I like to be around him, so I don't really complain. Having been uh, a quarterback at Camden in a couple of years, you've, you've run that, not exactly the Tech offense, but something like that. What can you tell Georgia people about what, I mean, they know plenty enough about it, but as the quarterback, you know, what do you see? How do you get the ball out of your hands quickly in the run game, et cetera? Uh, you, I mean, you're coming off the fake to the fullback, trying to read the defensive lineman at the same time as seeing if there's anyone going out to carry, carry the pitch man. So it's a, it's a lot on the quarterback. But I feel like the way to stop it is to stop their first option, which is that fullback dive. And if you can stop the dive, then you just got to put some licks on the quarterbacks and the running backs to get them to fold up. Uh, a lot of people talk about this game in Kingsland. No, not really. Oh, the Florida game. Yeah, it's all Florida down there. Okay, thanks, Bryce.